cooling towers. The effect of coronavirus and advanced strategies on reducing water consumption. Indeed, what is the way to save the industry from water shortage? Welcome at the first. Cooling tower systems are widely used to provide cooling in industrial and commercial applications, including building HVAC, cold storage, and industrial cooling. The key components of a cooling system are the cooling tower, recirculating pump, and heat exchanger. Cooled water from the basin is pumped through a heat exchanger. The cooling water picks up heat and its temperature increases. Warm water is distributed over the top of the tower where air moves past the warm water, evaporating a portion of the water, cooling the remaining water. Repeating the loop, where cooled water from the basin is pumped through a heat exchanger and so forth. As the basin water level drops, fresh makeup water is added. Evaporated water leaves behind dissolved impurities from the makeup water, which concentrate and cause scale, deposits, and corrosion. Concentrated impurities in the tower are removed through blowing down tower water to the drain. The basin water level drops due to these evaporation and blowdown losses, and more makeup water is added to maintain level. Open recirculating cooling towers save tremendous amounts of energy and reduce greenhouse gas emissions compared to air-cooled systems. Challenges include water conservation, corrosion, scale, deposits, microbiological activity. Water matter. While the civilized world was educated and tries to find ways to reduce water consumption for its industries and humans, there are many conferences held to show how to help to reduce water consumption. It is crystal clear that all the industries are forced to spend billions of dollars to reduce water consumption or refine dirty water from human sewage resources. While humans desalinate ocean water in order to reduce their water consumption in industry, Without paying attention to how much this desalination of ocean water and its transport to distant industries cost. As a whole, how much negative impact it will have on the environment of the seas and oceans. Meanwhile, all of these problems are being solved. Humid or wet cooling towers are the cooling towers that were designed more than 100 years ago, were built for the consumption of the industry. Unfortunately, these cooling towers are being used in the same way as they were used 100 years ago with minor changes to their appearance. But in terms of their performance, it can be said that they have had the least changes, that is, a large amount of water enters the system and by capturing temperature and heat results in transferring this heat to the air. During its operating conditions, it evaporates a large amount of water while wasting it and causing further need of clean water sources daily and hourly. Today, we ought to make changes to the technology of 100 years ago in the design of cooling towers, so that we can help reduce water consumption, and with respect to the water crisis, we help the development of the industry. Creating strategies such as hybridization or dry methods may be able to help reduce water consumption in the industry. Now, a way that is being proposed to the industry in an unsystematic way can cause a lot of damage to the industry in the future, regardless of the high cost and regardless of the efficiency. That is millions of dollars in exchange for one thing, you can sometimes solve difficult problems easily. Now concerning the cooling towers, we can decide to spend millions of dollars to hybridize them. Or similar to the above story, by modifying the mechanism in the wet cooling towers, we can benefit the use of molecular screening technology to reduce the consumption of industrial cooling towers. With the technology of retrieval of the vapors by molecular screening method, we have designed and successfully implemented this method with our innovative technical knowledge instead of the enormous costs of hybridizing cooling towers.